All right. Uh, tell you what, as we mentioned, uh, Bishop's Corner will be on the air tomorrow, but we will not. So we wanted to highlight uh, this week's uh, question of the week that the bishop uh, himself selected, uh, kind of among the questions he answered for this week's Bishop's Corner. And you'll hear this question as part of the show tomorrow. Uh, so let's hear it. Uh, we're going to go to James, who's on social media, Bishop. Dear Bishop Thomas, I get so tired of pro-abortion people saying profile uh, pro-life people only care about children before they're born. I know that's not the case, and I'm sure our dioceses and parishes offer many resources for children, single mothers, and struggling families. Could you share some? I'd love to have specifics to mention to back up my point. Thanks, James. Well, thank you, James, so much. And it's a very thoughtful question. And I know, James, I hear this all the time, too. And it's just ignorant and false. So good that you ask, and I would drive you directly to our Catholic Charities website for the Diocese of Toledo. And there's a, there's a drop down menu where James, you can look at the overview of what we do. Now, this is not for the preborn, which obviously who we, it's the preeminent care for those who are not yet born, but all the things we do for people already born, which people say we don't. So here's the drop down menu. Adult advocacy services, crisis navigation when people find themselves in a crisis, disaster relief, feeding the hungry, for example, at Helping Hands of St. Louis, furniture ministry, for example, for prisoners who have just come out of prison and are going to an apartment that's unfurnished, sheltering the homeless, so La Posada Family Emergency Center for women and children, Miriam House also a traditional shelter for homeless women and their children located in Norwalk. Tenant readiness, helping people begin to be good tenants and live, for example, in an apartment. Our jail and prison ministries for those who are incarcerated. We have an opportunity kitchen for those who maybe have been incarcerated or have some difficulty in their life to teach them skills, culinary skills, so they can get a solid job. Project Rachel, for women and their families who have experienced the tragedy of an abortion, the Joseph ministry for men who have experienced abortion, all of our respect life ministries, of course, and, and education in the social teaching of the church. So I think that's not a few things that we do right here locally, but also James, you can share with them our national USCCB effort, which we're doing in our diocese and every diocese across the country, which is walking with moms in need. And it's been a very significant and helpful program to do just that. So when people say that, James, you can say that's ignorant and it's false. And let me tell you why. Good for you. Thanks, Bishop.